Everybody loves an underdog. Sir, the possibility of successfully navigating an asteroid field is approximately 3,720 to 1. Never tell me the odds. Welcome to WatchMojo.com. You're the one who calls me up every single day of my life with special offers, huh? And today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 from zero to hero film protagonists. Open your mouth, say ah. Uh. Uh, For this list, we're taking a look at characters in movies that start off as losers. Oh, the gods hate me. But become triumphant by the end of their journeys. Show me. Number 10, Neo, the Matrix franchise. Neo, do you know who this is? 1999 brought us several movies about ordinary men frustrated with their mundane lives. The Matrix took this to a whole new level with Neo's journey. I can't do this. Originally known as Thomas Anderson, this hacker spent his nights searching for meaning on the web. After following the White Rabbit, Neo learns the shocking truth about his reality and that he's the one who will lead humanity to salvation. I know Kung Fu. A master of Kung Fu and able to bend the rules of the world around him, when he's in the Matrix at least, Neo gives hope to all desktop junkies seeking a higher purpose. Number 9. Poe, the Kung Fu Panda franchise. Hey, po, what are you doing up there? Uh, nothing. While pandas are undeniably adorable, they're actually surprisingly vicious in real life. Sorry, Poe. We'll bring you back a souvenir. Of course, only in the realm of animation can pandas perform Kung Fu. Slow, chubby, and voiced by Jack Black, Poe is among the least intimidating creatures in the animal kingdom. Upon being singled out as the Dragon Warrior, however, Poe strives to prove through persistence and realization that he's more awesome than he appears. Who are you? Buddy, I am the Dragon Warrior. It goes to show that you never should judge a book by its cover, even if the title is Kung Fu Panda. I figured it out. Skadoosh. Number eight, Daniel LaRusso, The Karate Kid. It's school sucks, man. I shut out of here. Sucks. The Karate Kid introduced a generation of younger audiences to the sports underdog story, and Daniel LaRusso's Zero to Hero journey remains one of cinema's most famous. This New Jersey native has trouble adjusting to his new life in Los Angeles, becoming the target of a local gang. Daniel sets out to study karate, and he finds a gifted teacher in Mr. Miyagi. No such thing, a bad student, only bad teacher. He, of course, learns self-defense. Show me wax on, wax off. Yes! Yes! But Daniel also takes in several important life lessons, establishing himself as a noble fighter and rising up as a man. Finish him! <laughs> Number seven. Katniss Everdeen, The Hunger Games franchise. Thank you for your consideration. As a resident of District 12, Katniss knows just what it's like to be at the bottom of the barrel. There's 24 of us, scale, only one comes out. Yeah, and it's gonna be you. After volunteering herself as a tribute for The Hunger Games to save her sister, however, she is unwillingly thrust into the public eye. Becoming a symbol thanks to her bravery, resourcefulness, and compassion, the world looks up to the survivor and centerpiece of the coming revolution. That about sums me up. Although initially reluctant to accept her title as the girl on fire, Katniss eventually comes to terms with her responsibilities and vows to take down President Snow. This is the revolution, and you are the Mockingjay. Number six, Dave Lazuski, the Kick-Ass franchise. I was getting back to my old self. Comic book popularity is at an all-time high, so why hasn't anybody tried to become a superhero in real life? So, uh, which one of you guys is Rizul? Dave Lazuski decides to give the costumed vigilante occupation a shot and immediately gets his ass handed to him. Uh. 
while he's better at getting his ass kicked than kicking ass in the beginning. Dave quickly gains attention for standing up to crime, putting himself out there, and taking a punch like a champ. A costume vigilante has become the latest internet phenomenon after a Hamilton Park resident filmed the man's remarkable intervention in a gang-related attack last this week. This is awesome. As he works his way up the superhero ladder, this scrawny nerd slowly lives up to his name. Who are you? I'm Kick-Ass. Number 5. Harry Potter, The Harry Potter Franchise My father was a great man. Phenomenal cosmic power, itty bitty living space. When we first meet Harry Potter, he's a 10-year-old boy living in a cupboard under the stairs at his mean old aunt and uncle's house. You're a wizard, Harry. But on his 11th birthday, he's informed that not only is he a wizard, he's one of the most famous wizards ever, with a hefty inheritance waiting, we might add. That's why you're famous. That's why everybody knows your name. You're the boy who lived. Harry spends the next years of his life living up to his reputation and trying to put an end to the darkest wizard who ever lived, Lord Voldemort. Expecto Patronum! With bravery, cunning, and two of the best friends ever put to screen, the boy who lived was willing to sacrifice himself for the betterment of all wizard kind. Number 4. Peter Parker, The Spider-Man Franchise <gasps> Long before there was kick-ass, there was this nerd-turned-superhero icon. I think you're pretty funny, don't you, freak? Yeah, it was just an accident. When my fist breaking your teeth, that's the accident. While Spidey's origin story has been retold a couple of times, the same essential elements always remain the same. Peter Parker is your run-of-the-mill dork until a radioactive spider bites him. Although he isn't sure how to use these newfound web-slinging abilities at first, he gains some valuable words of advice from Uncle Ben. Remember, with great power comes great responsibility. As Spider-Man, Peter aspires to honor his uncle's memory by defending New York, even if it means giving up any dream of personal happiness he may have. Who are you? You know who I am. I do. Your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Number 3. Luke Skywalker, The Star Wars Franchise All right, come on. Luke Skywalker's story has become a textbook example of how to portray a hero's journey. I'm not afraid. Yeah. You will be. You will be. A simple farm boy, Luke looks up at his home planet's moons in hopes of one day becoming something more. <laughs> Upon teaming up with Obi-Wan Kenobi, he takes his first step towards becoming a Jedi Knight like his father. Of course, Luke gets more than he bargained for after learning his daddy isn't so clean-cut after all. No, I am your father. Through training, loss, and friendship, though, Luke finds his inner strength. You're all clear, kid. Now let's blow this thing and go home. And rises as the galaxy's last hope. Number two, Steve Rogers, Captain America, the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Sorry, son. Look, just give me a chance. You'll be ineligible on your asthma alone. Despite constantly getting knocked down, the wimpy Steve Rogers always stands up for what's right. Is there anything you can do? I'm doing it. I'm saving your life. This makes him the ideal candidate for a super soldier experiment in which his exterior is altered to match his unbreakable spirit. Son of a bitch did it. He leads the U.S. in their mission to take down the Red Skull, sacrificing himself in the process. We'll have the band play something slow. I'd hate to step on your... Steve? Steve? That's just the tip of the iceberg, as Rogers awakens years later to fight a new war.
Of all the Avengers, his backstory is the most inspirational, making us all want to follow Captain America into battle. Who's strong and brave here to save the American way? Not all of us can storm a beach or drive a tank, but there's still a way all of us can fight. Before we get to our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. <laughs> Aramis, which is, I have to tell you, the right answer! <laughs> F this clown. You know why. As soon as all the others find out, they're gonna kill me. A whole new world, a new fantastic point of view. No one to tell us no of where to go. Number one, Rocky Balboa, the Rocky franchise. <coughs> to date, Rocky is still the greatest underdog story ever told. It really don't matter if I lose this fight. It really don't matter if this guy opens my head either. Never has a sports movie been more rousing, and never has a zero-to-hero protagonist ever been more compelling than Rocky Balboa, a down-on-his-luck boxer working as a strongman for a loan shark, and who's given a shot at facing the heavyweight champion of the world. Agent! Rocky! Hey, what's your hat? I love you! While it takes him until the next movie to ultimately seize that title, the Italian Stallion demonstrates that you can come out on top even when you don't win. He's an everyman that motivates us all to go the distance. Do you agree with our list? Who's your favorite Zero to Hero movie protagonist? My name is Neo. For more entertaining top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. You gonna be okay? Yeah. Yeah, I just... I had a date.